What's up everybody, it's Kyoto, and welcome back to another DX2 video. Today I want to show off a popular duo called the Jackie Brothers. I'm talking about Yellow Jack Frost and Yellow Pyro Jack. These two demon boys are the only two in the game with the ability Tag. Tag lets you skip a turn without using a press turn icon or even half of one. This is really useful when you want to use a specific combo setup for a main damage dealer on your team. So one of the first few questions a new player would be wondering is, how do you fuse an archetype onto a 1 star demon? Well, it's pretty easy to do and won't cost you that much magnetite since the way that you do it is by fusing down a native 3 to 5 star minion that has a yellow archetype. You can do this by fusing it with one of your lower grade minions like a 1 or 2 star and certain combinations will degrade your minions while keeping the archetype. From there, just awaken the demon and you will get the awakened ability, which is tag for the Jackie Brothers. Since tag only costs 2 mana, you still regenerate 1 mana with every tag, so you can literally do it every turn. First I want to show you a viable combo setup with the demon boys, and then after that I have a meme team to show as well in the following clips. Hope you enjoy. Alright, so first off I'm going to be showing how to do the team combo setup with the leveling quest, just because it's easy to set up the situation. I'm going to pretend that the slimes don't have any weaknesses to kind of simulate a real situation here. The only team that's going to matter is the team on the left, because Templar Dragon gives you the extra damage on charge or concentrate, which is what Ose is in here for, and Feng Huang is a fast healer that's before Ose it's going to matter, which I'll show off the technique in just a little bit. Two Jackie Brothers in here, just so we can pass the turns. And uh, with that, I'll go ahead and show it off. Combo's a little bit unorthodox, it uses a double pass, which is kind of unsettling for most people because you probably wouldn't want to waste a turn in some senses. But in this case, you will. You'll see what I mean. So we're going to pass first. Then we're going to go ahead and build up the charge. Then we're going to tag through. Tag again. And we're going to pass. And right here, because we're already charged, full mana. Let's just do that right away. Only takes two press turn icons when you're at 9 or 10 mana. Um, from here, we just do the same thing, very similar, except here, we're going to double pass. And there's a reason for that. There's a reason for that, you'll see. Because, you know, if they didn't have that physical weakness, we wouldn't be sure that we're going to get that extra turn or whatever. Or if it's going to miss. And if it misses, holy moly, is that terrible. That ruins the whole combo. So we're going to pass. Then we're going to charge on that half turn. Double tag again. And then from here we're going to double pass again because we don't want to waste the charge on anything. And tag through. Pass again. This time it takes four press turn icons. But we can still get that charge nuke all in one round. Pretty good. Forget your talk. I don't need you. Because I'm showing something right now. Pass through. We have nothing, right? Just in case you miss, don't want that to happen. Gonna tag. I guess you could always hit, you know, you could, you know, not waste that press turn icon, but hey, I'm not taking any chances. You can if you want to. But that's all up to you. Charge up. Tag through. Oh, and this works every single turn. Um, you might need to get a heal off, so that might be a little bit of a weird thing. But, that only screw up part of your attack, because that'll give Ose more mana in the long run, and you'll see what I mean later. But for now, we just tag through. And then pass, and then nuke. Bam! Easy. Blow everything up, with a charged Hades Blast thanks to Ose. But, you can use other options too, there are... Other demons doesn't have to be Ose because it doesn't have to be physical either. It could be Megidola or something, and it can work out. Well, you probably want Concentrate on it, but still the same thing. It's a charge concentrate combo thing that you can do all in one turn. It's um, it could be used in PvP if you have the resistances or you, the opponent just doesn't have the specific you know attacks that are gonna kill you hit your weak points because the Jackie Brothers, you know, they're weak to the opposite and unfortunately that means you'd have to put some resistances on them and that's kind of expensive to put resistances on these guys unless you're really committing to it and for the tag combo you really only need one and I think people prefer Jack Frost 
There's some cases as to why. You know, Power Jack has some slightly better stats, in my personal opinion, but Jack Frost, with the ice and everything, kind of a little bit of a better setup there. So it's really just personal preference, honestly. And with that, I think that is just all we can show for the viable combo. You can probably level up your guys to make them better to do things in the higher dungeons, but this is just to showcase it for now. Okay, and now the moment you've been waiting for. So this is my meme dream team that I'd love to see work somehow. I'm thinking of putting maybe like Makara Karen and Tetra Karen on these guys and just having them repel everything and keep their mana up every turn. We'll see how that goes out, then you don't really need your resistances. It's just to cheese some guys because they don't really have Makara break. So it could work, they don't have Tetra break either, I guess. Um, I guess you'd have to invest quite a bit into these guys, but because there's only two of them on the team, they can just tag back to each other. And with Eileen as your main character, you don't really have to worry about past turn because there's that small chance that you're going to get a free one. So it's kind of cool how that works out. So we can just spam our spells like this. Just keep dishing the damage out. If somehow I could just you know, strengthen these skills, which is actually really possible. We can just max out these skills and then it'll kind of be worthwhile. And then when we're done using up all of our mana, we just, you know, tag them back in. And we do this. Very simple. Just keep tagging. Just don't even worry about it. Out of mana? Don't worry about it. Just tag. You want to get back all the way to 10? Don't worry about it. There you go. Bam. Oh, you know what? Power Jack's missing a few, man. Let's just, let's just make sure that they have full. Perfect. Alright, good. Sweet. Look at that. Damage. And then we just do this again. Very simple system. We just say shablam. No divine brands necessary at all. In fact, I probably would put spell brands on these guys. Just cuz. Why the heck not? It would probably just be extra damage, which you probably need. But hey, that seems really fun. If someone comes up with a better combo idea with that, and maybe like certain skill ideas, why don't you just drop that down in the comment section below, because I'd like to see what you come up with. I like my Makara Karen, Tetra Karen build with that combo. Um, I don't think that it'd be very good all the time, but, you know, there's Pierce and whatnot. It's, uh... It's interesting. It's something that you probably wouldn't expect people to have, especially in like PvP per se. There's not really much you can do if they have both spells and they just keep using it all the time. <laughs> and it's really good for an attack team if you think about it that way. Just they keep attacking themselves. As long as they don't null themselves out, it should be okay. I think. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe you could throw in a Loki in there to try to get that trickster passive off. Alright. Well, I guess that'll be it for this video. This has been Kyoto. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Now, see you all in the next one. Later!